Hi boys and girls, these are your reader's notebook pages for today. We are starting in our brand new reader's notebook with page one. Our story this week is Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. And this goes along with your spelling words. We're talking about base words and endings with ED and ING. And if you can remember on Friday, we went over these words and the rule about what we have to do to the consonant beside of the vowel when we add ing or ed. So, if the consonant or if the vowel is followed by only one consonant and the vowel is short, so in this case it says a, ah, you have to add another consonant, okay? Otherwise, it looks like that we've taken off an e before we add ing and it would make it long A. So we have to figure out the correct spelling. We know that it's A, short A, so we have to add another G before we can add ING. Okay. Number two is helped. However, how many consonants are beside of the short vowel? Two, so we don't need to add another one. We already have two there. helped. Okay, the word swim before we add ing. We look at the vowel and we say long or short. It's short. Then we look at the consonant next to it and see how many there are. There's only one. So it would, we have to add another one. Otherwise it would look like swiming. This double consonant here lets us know that this vowel sound is short. Rub, long or short? Short, and there's only one B, so we have to add another. And again with trot, ah, ah is short O, so do that one on your own. Pause to do that, okay? Now we're coming down to the bottom. It says, read the sentence. Underline the word that ends with ing or ed. Then write the base word on the line. Maria played baseball with her pals, okay? Play is the word here that ends in ed. The base word is the word without the suffix. So it's the word without the ing or the ed. So we would just write play. Okay, make sure that you are spelling the base word correctly. And remember the base word like in batted, she batted last on her team. We spell bat, B-A-T. We don't add the extra T because that's technically part of the suffix that we have to add. Okay, pause to do these three on your own. Then we're gonna to turn to page two. Oops. Naming with pronouns. So pronoun is something that takes place of a noun. So for example, Greg is sick at home. We can replace Greg with he. He is sick at home. Write the pronoun that can take the place of the underlined subject. Use the words in the box to help you. Now, there are five of these and four words, so that means that we're gonna be using one of the words twice. However, the pronouns have to make sense. So, Lisa has an idea. Is Lisa male or female? Female, she's a girl, so we would put she. We wouldn't put he because that doesn't make sense. So she has an idea. Okay. The students make a card. Can we put he make a card? No, we can't do that because we're talking about more than one. And we talk about more than one person, we say they. So they make a card. period. I forgot my period on number one. Okay. 
go ahead, do three, four, and five. Pause this to do that now. Okay, moving on to number three. We have base words and endings, again, like your um, spelling words. Underline each base word, then write each word in the correct column. So we're gonna underline the base word. So we have fan, wag, rent, flip, pump, beg, dot, jump, pat, drop, plan, melt. Okay. So then we have to put them in the column. So words that end with ed that are one syllable. Let's see. Okay. We're not going to use the base words. They just wanted you to underline the base words to see them. Okay. Because if that were the case, then every word would be on the one syllable. Wag, fan, rent, flip. <clears throat> so ED words with one syllable, okay? These are ED words with two syllables. Remember, syllables are where you hear kind of like a pause, okay? So for example, my, my first name, Sid Nee. It's two syllables, okay? We hear a space in between Sid and Nee. Okay, same thing with Burdett. Ber, det. We hear two syllables. This is ing words with two syllables. So the easiest way I think for us to start out is to just go through each word and put it where it belongs, okay? Fanning, fanning, two. So it goes over here in ing, f-a-n-n-i-n-g. So we've got that one out of the way. Wagged. Wagged. It's only one. So it's going to go here with the one syllable. Wagged. Rented. Two syllable ED. Flipped. Just one. and I'll give you a hint. There's only one column for ING words, so all of the ING words must go over here. So pumping and begging and dropping. We can go ahead and get those out of the way. Go ahead and pause to finish your ing words because I know I wrote a little quick. Okay. Now do three, four, six, seven, and eight on your own. Remember, just tap your hands. You can clap your hands. You can tap your arm. Whatever you need to do to help you hear the syllables, the breaks in the words. So pause to do that now. Okay, then you're going to choose two words from above, any two words. Change the ending from ED to ING or ING to ED. So, for example, wagged, I would change that to wagging. So, the dog, and you can use mine or you can make up your own sentences. The dog is wagging his tail. Period. Okay. Change another word on your own and come up with a sentence for number 14 and you're finished with these for the day.